Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of something being revealed to you. Someone is being exposed, or you're seeing someone's true colors. Um, I, I do see this also as someone just being upfront with you. It's like someone is going to confess something or be honest with you about something. Um, there is this energy of being authentic here, yeah, revealing or taking off some sort of false mask here. Yeah. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next, we have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy. And finally, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. So you could be dealing with the Virgo. So there is definitely somebody here who you may have withdrawn from with the Hermit here, or someone who may have withdrawn from you. But there's just this energy with the Hermit being here that there is some sort of... Um, separation or no contact or it's like both people here are focusing on themselves and there's a lot of reflection that is going on at this time so this person is definitely looking within and reflecting i do see them um, almost trying to master something or to mature or to gain a better perspective on something and it's like they are definitely facing something here i do see somebody is doing a lot of inner work or reflection here and with the ten of wands it's like this could be someone who you were in some sort of a situation or a cycle with um that was quite draining um there's this energy of you having put in a lot of effort and they were not really picking up their weight or you know they, they with the ten of wands this can show a bit of a one-sided energy um you know connecting here with someone who is quite um there's just a lot of obstacles and challenges. So if it's not that this person wasn't picking up their weight, they could have, you guys could have just been faced with a lot of adversity. And with the 10 of wands, it's like, this is definitely an energy of closing something out, leaving something behind, um, dropping some sort of burden. So you could have given up on this person or on this situation, but there's just this energy of lightening your load and even possibly stepping more into this hermit energy, focusing on yourself, um, you know, healing from something, not really giving someone your attention anymore and instead trying to um, extract some lessons here but I also do see this person has been doing some introspection and with the page of wands um, I do see this as them reaching out to you someone communicating to you wanting to express something to you opening up lines of communication and we do see some sort of confession coming from this person with the seven of swords being in the reverse so let's clarify these cards um, uh, Sagittarius So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician, and this is Mercury Energy, Gemini, Virgo Energy. 
So there is this energy here of somebody wanting to create something, start something, initiate something. Um, they're trying to manifest something here. I, I do see this person trying to um, create a situation where they, it's like they're trying to line up the, the opportunity to express something. Um, they may want to um, show you something. It's like they want to show you the real them in some way, or they want to um, change your mind about them. But there's de definitely this energy of them trying to um, creates the circumstances to have that opportunity to reach out to you and extend something to you. I'm seeing some sort of confession here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse again, and this is Air Energy. Next, you have the Hanged Man in the reverse, and this is Pisces Energy, so you could be dealing with the Pisces. And finally, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, Water Energy. Okay, so there is definitely a situation here where you are becoming more realistic or it's like you're seeing something from, you know, a less uh, clouded vision or someone is showing you their more authentic side. This is someone who may have been wearing a false mask and with the Seven of Cups being in the reverse, it's like the illusion is coming off you know this is someone who's now showing you their real self and it's like you you're able to look at this person from a more realistic point of view and there's this energy of not having rose colored glasses when dealing with this person it's like you're seeing them for who they really are now and with the hangman again we're seeing this energy of somebody who is wanting to approach you reach out um initiate communication with you it's like they're taking some sort of action towards you um they are definitely wanting to um open up lines of communication with you is what i'm seeing okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you um sagittarius So the card says, surrender to the divine, full moon. So this is definitely somebody who it seems as if you have uh, surrendered them. You've given up on them in some way. It's like you turned your attention, your focus away from them and more so onto yourself with the hermit here. This is definitely someone who there's almost this energy of releasing or letting them go in some way because they were i do see someone who was quite deceptive it's like there was something some sort of illusion they were trying to create they were not being authentic and i do see this is a connection that you may have surrendered in some way okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you sagittarius So the card says honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so again we're seeing this energy of a dreamy energy clouding vision so this is definitely someone who was somehow deceptive or created some sort of illusion um, and i do see that you're gonna see the truth of that it's like something is being made more clear to you um you know there's it's like um becoming more realistic or seeing someone from a more realistic point of view okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you uh sagittarius So the card says unanimity and harmony. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Okay, so I do see it's like there's this energy of you finding some sort of harmony, um, focusing on self, going within, um, possibly even just spending time alone um, or just withdrawing from the situation to uh, prioritize being at peace with yourself. So this is definitely a situation where you may have already made peace with the situation. You may have dropped a burden. You may have given up on the situation and turned your energy elsewhere, turned your focus within. And um, I, I do see you making progress in that regard. There is some sort of healing work that is happening here. But I also do see you getting answers as well. 
well it's like someone is actually going to show you the truth and you're going to see their real true colors okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius